All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today man I got to pay some homage and respect to one of the goats Honestly, it's somebody who not only impacted me tremendously But I'm sure if you're watching this video too, Akira Toriyama probably impacted your life as well And it's kind of crazy that even right now that I'm able to even say that before we even really talk about the tragedy of the situation I really just want to highlight all of the great that this man did the countless lives around the world that he changed I mean it is very, very rare. I mean, honestly, I, I would love to see the odds on it, but it's very rare that somebody is able to influence as many people as Akira Toriyama did, and, and not even just to influence that many people, but to influence that many people across several different mediums, across all these different language barriers, all these geographical borders, you know what I mean? These cultural differences. There's kids in Panama and Mexico and the United States and in Japan and Australia and Europe, in Africa, you know what I mean? Who grew up Dragon Ball fans. There are Dragon Ball fans globally. There are people who have enjoyed the overall arts of Akira Toriyama from probably every corner of the globe, quite literally. I mean, he was influential in the first world. He was influential in the third world. His art will probably literally live on forever. I mean, I really don't exaggerate when I say that Dragon Ball is one of the most important pieces of fictional work that has ever been created. And I know that Dragon Ball has a lot of people who dislike it and whatnot, I get that, but the overarching influence that that show alone had on modern culture is fucking wild. And there are very few people ever in any given generation who can pull off quite what Akira Toriyama did. I mean, this is a guy who single-handedly is partially responsible for anime and manga in general being as globally popular as it is today. I mean, as an American kid growing up and on Saturdays, the cartoon channels would have, you know, re-airs of Dragon Ball Z. And I mean, even outside, I know I'm mentioning Dragon Ball a lot. That's what personally really affected me. That's what I really loved about Akira Toriyama. But I mean, even looking beyond that, he, he's, he's part of Dragon Quest and Chrono Trigger and Blue Dragon. And he, he's just made so much incredible art and he's just influenced the world so much. I don't know. I felt like I needed to make a tribute video to this guy. As you guys know, for years, if you've been watching here on the channel, I mean, I played Dragon Ball games for the longest time and my outro in every single video was a Dragon Ball Z artwork outro. So like, obviously, uh, when I saw the news last night, it just, it, it took me and I'm sure everybody else by complete surprise. That just, I would have never have seen that coming. I mean, Akira Toriyama, he passed away at age 68 and it, it's a tragedy, but to know that that is real, just, it doesn't feel real. Even today, like after sleeping on it, waking up to it, it just, it doesn't feel real. Reading that news just did not feel like it was a part of reality at all. To me, it's almost like when Kobe Bryant passed away. Like, I remember when that happened and it just like, I saw the news and I had to literally check and see like if it was a fucking hoax. You know what I mean? Same thing with Akira Toriyama because I understand like he was a reclusive guy. He kind of tried to stay out of the media's attention if he could. He didn't want to have, you know, photographs taken of him all the time, stuff like that. But even then, like his name is so massive globally because of all of the, the work that he's created and the footprint that he has, you know? It just, it's absurd that that even was something that I read last night. And I don't know, it just feels like a fucking fever dream in all reality, like a really bad fever dream. And that's the thing too, is like his work and his creations live on constantly through, you know, books slash manga, uh, television and movies, video games, like, and there's such iconic works, you know, there's so many people out there who've created, right? There's so many people out there who've made things, but there's not many people, if really any people out there who had the catalog that Akira Toriyama himself had. And I mean, it, it's very telling when people in your own industry at the hearing of your passing will issue public statements revering you as like the god of anime slash manga. I mean, the creators of One Piece and Naruto and other shows have been coming out ever since the news to share how much they were influenced and, and impacted by Akira Toriyama and how his teachings and whatnot for them really helped them blossom. This is somebody who was loved globally and was loved in his own community, you know? It's one of those types of things where like, I feel like everybody should try, if they can, of course, to live like he did. I never really heard anything bad about the guy, never heard any negative press really about the guy. You just always heard about the things that he made and the happiness that that brought people, man. 
I, I really can't personally think of anybody who has really that same impact that he had. I mean, every single boy that I know has at one time in their life or another tried to become Super Saiyan or tried to do the Kamehameha or tried to do spirit bombs. You know what I mean? Wanted their hair to turn gold when they powered up. Wanted to train just like him. Wanted to eat just like him. Wanted to be just like Goku. You know what I mean? And that's just one character. You know, that's one fucking character that this guy created. And like I said, kids who came from the slums of the third world, kids who came from the privilege of the first world, from all corners of the planet, wanted to be like this guy and his artwork. I mean, I've never seen a musician, game developer, anything that really has had that level of impact where even if you weren't an anime fan or you weren't a manga fan or whatever, right? You still know what going Super Saiyan is. You still know about Namekians. You still know about Piccolo. You still know who Vegeta is. You still know about the Dragon Balls. You still know these things. And I, that's incredible in and of itself. Like to have such a cultural footprint that people who don't know your name or the names of your own creations know what certain aspects of them are. I mean, just a name that's synonymous with the entire anime and manga scene, a guy who pushed animation and artwork forward in several different ways. It, it's really sad to say it, but rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. Thank you for all of the incredible art that you provided us, all the incredible memories and experiences. And I honestly hope that we as fans uh, can continue to help Akira and his name live on through his incredible artworks for as long as we can. Like my kids, they'll probably never grow up looking up to Akira Toriyama the same way that I and a lot of kids in my generation did, but I do know that one day my kids will be watching Dragon Ball with me on the weekends. They're going to get to play Chrono Trigger in dad's game collection, right? And they're going to get to experience the incredible joy that he brought to all of us as well. So rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, truly one of the greatest authors and artists of our generation, well, of his generation. He's much older than I was, but just think Thank you for everything, man. Uh, it's such a sad video to make, honestly. Like, I'm really trying to maintain my composure as best as I can. This news was so fucking saddening to see, but I just wanted to, I guess, highlight the glory of his artwork and everything, right? The awesomeness of his artwork one last time and just pay tribute to somebody who impacted all of us in many different ways. So rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. And as Ikiro Oda, the man who created One Piece, said in his response to the entire situation, I hope heaven will be a pleasant world just as you envisioned it. So with that being said, that's the end.